Hi, I'm Brandon Sullivan, the owner of Hazard Notifications, LLC. If you're watching this video, you've probably heard about our new forecast modeling website, HasWX.com. HasWX.com features powerful Google Maps interface with interactive weather information. If you take a look at our mapping website here, you'll see a full list of American models. We have the RTMA, the Real-Time Mesoscale Analysis, the Rapid Refresh, the High Resolution Rapid Refresh, and various other uh, American models. Let's take a look at our modeling interface and look at some forecast data, shall we? Let's begin with looking at the High Resolution Rapid Refresh. When you click the model, you will be given a list of possible initialization times. These are times that the model has ran and computed a forecast. We will choose here the latest, uh, latest model information. When you click the model that you want, the model runtime, you will be given a list of all the different parameters and features that the models calculate. Uh, for our purposes, let's take a look at the simulated radar. When we click this, we then get a list of everything pertaining to radar. We'll look at the composite reflectivity forecast. In the maps here, you'll see an option to apply it to the left map, to the right map, or one map. If you click left or right, you'll be given two maps side by side so you can apply two different products. We'll start with one for now. Let's look at the forecast for tomorrow morning. If you are not sure when a particular hour is valid, you can mouse over it and it will tell you. This is valid for the 4th of February at 13Z. This is going to be 7 a.m. tomorrow morning here in Central Time. Let's click that to look at our morning commute. We see that heavy snow and some rain and freezing rain are forecast across much of central Oklahoma. Uh, we can zoom out and take a larger look at what's going on. We see a, a pretty big storm system here. Uh, one thing that's neat about our website is that you can zoom and pan around on your data and you're not limited to any sectors or forced to be zoomed too far out. If you go into the data layers section, you will see some various options here uh, for spotter network overlays, our target tracker, which is where we let users submit their guesses for the most active severe weather the next day. And we also have radar and satellite overlays. Let's take a look at the radar overlays. Here we have pulled up the current radar in addition to the spotter network reports, or spotter network positions. We see a list of all spotters active in the United States. Again, this is the current radar. You can turn these overlays on and off by simply clicking them again. We do have plans for many more overlays coming here in the near future. You'll also see in your data layers menu an option for forecast data opacity. This allows you to turn up and down the opacity of an image underneath. Here, for example, I have the composite reflectivity we can turn the opacity down and zoom in and see what features are underneath a certain area. We can see the cities and streets below. Another thing I'd like to invite you to test out, in our preferences menu, we have the ability to display times in both UTC, local time, or both. We'll try both for right now and I'll show you what that will do. When you click to change your models, you will have to reselect which model you're looking at. Take a look down here at this timestamp and watch it change after I pick a new product. We will go through and select our same runtime. We will look at the reflectivity again. And we were looking at the 7 a.m. forecast, and you will see now in the menu that it now has 7 a.m. instead of 13Z. When we click on that, you will see that the timestamp is now changed to 7 a.m. This is great if you're sharing images uh, to social media where not everybody will be familiar. Another thing you'll notice in our preferences menu is this change logo. If you're a media subscriber, you will have the ability to put in a URL for your own logo and replace our logo up here so you can custom brand your products. One last thing that I'd like to talk to you about is our custom indices. We have developed a number of custom indices, one of which right now is our Experimental Blizzard Conditions Index. Shown here on the left, it shows an area of blizzard conditions likely across eastern and southeastern Illinois on the 5th of February. 
Here on the right, I have utilized the dual feature, and you will see heavy snowfall is forecast uh, in the three-hour period around this time. So with these strong winds that we see and the heavy snow, our blizzard index is triggering, uh, saying that there could be blizzard conditions. Now you see here that I've also hidden the menu. Uh, the menu easily hides up to the top left uh, to, give you, to give you a large view. So that's a quick overview of our modeling website. I hope you find it incredibly useful. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us at the website. Uh, we really look forward to serving you guys, coming out with new features, and really changing the way that weather is viewed today. Thank you.